welcome back to Intervening Shape Tuesday right here on Y in the morning at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media platform at Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me in this particular session it's a conversation about information tech in business so you understand that the future the future of internet is the future of everything and if your business doesn't have an online presence then you might want to think about that when it comes to uh, potential clients and increase in profitability and that's why we're having this con conversation because uh, as long as your business is on uh, the airwaves the internet you need to secure it and data information is quite important not only to the business owner but also to the client so in studio we are joined by the founder of cybertech labs uh, known as hicks Brian, thank you very much for creating time, Brian. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it. Okay, so starting us off, yeah, I would like to find out what Cybertech Lab is all about and the services that the company actually does offer. Um, okay, Cybertech, uh, Cybertech Labs is is a heavily uh, embedded IT firm. Our core values and our core um, activities are business intelligence, uh, data analytics, artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. and we also do computer vision and machine learning. All right. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll dive into that in details uh, in, the in, the, in the course of this conversation. So what sort of problem are you solving in the digital uh, space? Well, we're just making it easy for you. Um, with machine learning, uh, with business intelligence, with data analytics, we're just making it easy for businesses. Mm -hmm. Like I said, uh, let's say with business intelligence, we, what we do is just help other businesses to identify uh, problems in their businesses, mm -hmm. uh, um, identify products that are not doing well, okay. uh, seasons that are not fav favorable for their businesses. And when I say for data analytics, what we do is just handle large amounts of data and help other people to visualize them in a way that you and any other person can understand. Quite keep, keeping things quite easy, that is. Very easy. All right, so how long have you been into the business? Uh, in the beginning, we used to be a briefcase company. On the move. On the move, exactly. <laughs> but now that was then when I was still a student and uh, alongside other friends of mine who were still mm -hmm. students, but we decided to incorporate this in 2018. Mm -hmm. And uh, things got pretty interesting. Uh, we also got to work with a Chinese organization that we still work under mm -hmm. till to date. Mm, that yeah. explains a lot, considering yeah. uh, we guys checked you out on uh, the website, Cybertech. And apparently I was introduced to another language, just like, hold up, what's going on? <laughs> then there is a translation that comes afterwards. Yes. yes. Okay, so uh, when it comes to your business, so do you work alone or do you have a team? You mentioned a lo uh, earlier on you were in the move, the yeah. briefcase. So earlier on, I was alone with someone else mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunately she she got a very lucrative uh, position with BBC uh, she's based in London uh, so today we are about six guys and we have two other remote mm -hmm. one is in India and the other one is in Hong Kong okay yeah. well, of course uh, people moving on with their lives, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So who's eligible to the need of your services? Any business. Mm -hmm. Any business. You, mm -hmm. um, uh, banks, uh, finance institutions, uh, schools, hospitals, hotel industries, any business. All right. Yeah. How, did you, uh, how did you break into the market and how did you actually acquire your first client? The first client actually to Rwanda word of mouth mm -hmm. yeah because i remember um it was a, a morning just like today and someone calls me and tells me uh, mm -hmm. i've been referred to you by someone else okay. and i were able to do this and i was not quite even sure if i was going to be able to do that uh it was uh creating a system that a smart system for uh, an apartment um, in that when she walks in, mm -hmm. the lights come on. Okay. And when she walks out, the lights goes off. I mean, it was just like embedding Alexa to his mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you look into this business, apart from it being just uh, 
apart from the technology uh, uh, tech aspect of it, uh, we also have. Uh, I feel it's more of a social enterprise. So we have connected with the clients and have yeah. a, a couple of meetings and just to, to come in an agreement of what they want. How yes. do you maintain a, a good social relation when it comes to uh, clientele and y you and your team? That is. Okay, I. First of all, I don't believe the the thing that client is always right. Why don't you believe that? Because uh, we can't be right each and every time. We all can't be right. Mm. So uh, I believe in asking and I believe in uh, making queries. So mm -hmm. what, uh, the other thing is that I try to keep my clients as close as possible. Actually, I call my clients my best of friends. Mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, creating that kind of relationship really has really ha helped us a lot because uh, we are one people that uh, we are able to work each and any time he wants us. We don't have uh, working, working time and blah, blah, blah. No, we work any time you want us to come. Okay. So that has really helped us a lot because we have become, we have become very, very reliable. All right, all yes, all right. yeah. Okay, so w when it comes to uh, if I'm a business owner and I have worked with probably uh, app developers or even website developers, so I have my own apps and uh, website that uh, uh, that I run for my products mm -hmm. and services. Mm -hmm. So how how does uh, Cybertech, uh, if I come to you, help me secure my information, that information from hackers? That is. Okay, we use the same technology that is in Bitcoin. It's mm -hmm. called blockchain. Uh, how we've embedded blockchain onto our websites, onto applications, is that you are the only person that is able to log in and out okay. at any given time. Okay, how blockchain works is blockchain creates a series of blocks in that uh, me personally, if I log in, it will have to notify each and every block. Unlike the, uh, the traditional logging system, it was encrypted in a way that the blocks are only one or two. So if you crack the first block, then you're in. But with blockchain, it has created a series of blocks. It can go up to a million blocks. Okay. Yeah, so it's not very easy to crack a blockchain encryption. And still on that matter, when it comes to a company or even a business still, yeah. uh, if I, of course, if I want to retain privacy, not only for my business, but for my, for my clients also, yeah. then that means penetration test is important. So does the company uh, conduct penetration tests? And maybe you can also tell us for our viewers uh, what penetration test is. Okay, penetration testing is basically ethical hacking. Okay. Um, the name hacking actually is not very beautiful in in tech. So but what happens when you are yeah, <laughs> ethical part of it? So the ethical hacking part is just, just like the name suggests, it's yes. ethical. So yes. before I hack into your system, I have to notify you and you have to mm -hmm. give consent for that okay. in written form. Mm -hmm. So uh, penetration testing is basically looking for loopholes, mm -hmm. uh, looking for backdoors that, that are probably left behind by the developer because there are always backdoors and yes, backdoors are there are mistakes that mm -hmm. peop, any other person can make. Mm -hmm. I can make them, any person can make them. So penetration testing basically just helps us to, un to identify any panya routes, let me call them panya routes, mm -hmm. any loopholes that could be on the website. Mm -hmm. Yes. For, the, for someone who's watching this conversation and they would like to be part of the uh, network security, uh, what sort of background does one require to get into this sort of a business? Well, I really want to say you need to have knowledge on computer science because it's deep computer science. But in starting business, nah, you don't even need a master degree in business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So all you need is a, and a great passion. You okay. must have a passion for it. Must have a passion. Yeah, because it's very very boring. Apparently. Why would you say it's boring? I just, why well, get into something which is boring? I think that the, that is the question I had. Like, why would you say it's boring? And why, why are you still in it if it's well, boring? Well, you, someone else, <laughs> doesn't want to do the boring part, so I'll do the boring part. And the boring part actually mm -hmm. has a lot of money in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So, <laughs> how do you market the company? What is your marketing strategy? Uh, we have 
we've really really uh, worked on LinkedIn because mm -hmm. our, all our clients are professional clients. Mm -hmm. So we depend on LinkedIn a lot and mm -hmm. Twitter. We are not on Facebook. Why? Well, apparently we're not on Facebook. Why are you not on Facebook? We've not gained so much traffic on Facebook, mm -hmm. unlike LinkedIn, mm -hmm. um, because uh, like the, car the the system that you're making right now, it came from LinkedIn. Okay. Yeah. So we have not really interacted with Facebook. Uh, we look at Facebook as a chat application these days. It's just a social media application, unlike Twitter, unlike uh, unlike LinkedIn. Uh, so that's what uh, and. Uh, the greatest uh, marketing tool for us has been uh, the parent website uh, because it gains a lot of traffic. And uh, for it, uh, it's embedded in the way, we've embedded it with Google Maps in that it can translate to any language depending on the place that you are in. Okay, so where, yes. do, you, where do companies go wrong when it comes to network security? Well, uh, I want to say, okay, no, I can't say that they really go wrong, mm -hmm. but one of the deadly mistakes that I have made personally mm -hmm. and I've seen other companies also make is some invest in a lot. Mm -hmm. You want to invest in powerful computers, you want to invest in so much. You want to compare your company with Google. It can't work. That is one of the deadliest mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at the digital identity uh, management. How do, you, how do you help actually enterprises and the customer protect their digital identity security? Okay. Um, first, we have a he heavily encrypted cloud system. Okay. We are able to protect your data mm -hmm. at any given time because uh, we have a standalone server mm -hmm. here, but we have the parent server in China, so most of our details, most of our data is protected on cloud. Mm -hmm. And uh, the beauty of cloud is that you can access your information from anywhere, mm -hmm. including including mass. Yeah, so that has uh, that has uh, helped us a lot uh, in trying to work with clients remotely, in trying to uh, store information. Um, embedding uh, mm -hmm. applications okay. and so forth, yeah. Okay, what makes Cybertech uh, Lab different when it comes to uh, or offering ICT solutions? Well, the difference is, bec uh, I think I can say, okay, I, people say it's a joke, but I take it very seriously, is that the founder has never been employed. I've never been employed by anyone. I don't, I don't even know how a payroll looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and I don't believe that for you to start a business, you have to be an employee. So that has re that that is actually the greatest difference for us. Uh, and uh, and how does that two of influence us, your, the service provision that you give to your clients? The service provision is that for us, we understand what you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we have actually, I can see we have some of the best. I know we have the best team. Mm -hmm. Uh, the team of a team of five people, uh, they are actually the best I've ever met. You've never met your team. I've, I'm, I'm saying oh, they're okay. the best that I've ever met. <laughs> I can't compare them to any other people. Yeah, actually, they're even better than me. Oh, Trust right. me. Because right. yeah. you mentioned that you've never met the founder of uh, the mother, the mother of that uh, holds the cyber tech. I've so, how did you connect with with him? virtual reality, virtual mm -hmm. meetings. I've never met that person. Mm -hmm. But he has believed in me and he has believed in us. We have been able to deliver and we've been able to, to deliver uh, for a long period of time now. And uh, the, greatest part, the f greatest, greatest fact is that it has really helped us in business and in fostering relationships. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, when it comes to your talking. So what are some of the achievements? You've mentioned that you actually delivered quite a lot. Uh, the company started in 2018? Yeah. Okay, so what are some of the achievements that you have gathered in that specific period of time? Oh, uh, we are, the great one of our achievements is uh, we have a smart ERP system mm -hmm. that can be used by banking systems, by uh, financial institutions. Uh, 
it greatly works with uh, fraud. It's a fraud system. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, how it helps is it's able to identify fraud. It's able to identify uh, if a check is going to bounce anytime soon. Mm -hmm. It's able to identify uh, credit worthiness. Uh, how? Okay. Um, it was developed. We've trained the system through machine learning. We trained the system for a period of three months to understand each and every individual differently. So how it does this is um, if I sign up today as Brian and let's say I'm trying to get a loan of 50,000 Bob and uh, I, it will ask me th some of the most basic information. What's your name? What do you do? Where do you live? Uh, how much do you get? And uh, with that little information, it can be able to identify if you'll be able to pay back the amount or you'll never be able to pay back the amount. And in most cases, um, it, will always, it will always give you an alternative. Mm -hmm. You can say, okay, I'll not give you 50,000, but I'll give you 25,000 because I know that you'll be able to pay that 25 within the next six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is one that has really, really made noise out here. All right. Yeah. Someone is watching this conversation, and you know, most of, uh, we have some section of uh, us who are working from home, and we're not that knowledgeable when it comes to uh, matters of pertaining security. Uh, when it comes to data, what are some of the tips you can give us, people back at home? And uh, how can you know that our system have been manipulated? Well, okay. How can we know that our system have been manipulated for someone who has basic knowledge, us? And how can we? Uh, the steps maybe you can give us tips on how to prevent uh, probably our data being manipulated matters pertaining hacking uh, okay uh, people in okay in Africa here people say hackers are like wizards mm -hmm. um, the only thing that hack is, that hacker is going to do is probably is going to lock you out of the system or it's just going to destroy the information or the data that is in your system. So okay. um, I can say it's just like, let's say when you arrange this room mm -hmm. and someone else comes in, mm -hmm. uh, if you know the room well, then you'll be able to identify something that is not right. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is the same same way. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say if your computer is hacked today, uh, you'll be able to identify because one, some of the graphical interface, the icons, some will be missing, uh, some will look funny. Uh, let's say even if you're trying to play music, it won't play music, it will play something else. That's how you can identify that something is not right. And uh, one of the easiest way that uh, corporate people can uh, stop some of these things is going through we can do something like OS hardening. It's just adding a layer of security on top of your operating system, on top of your, on top of your servers, on top of your security, because even Wi-Fi cameras can be hacked these days. Mm. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So what are a couple of the challenges that you're facing in the business? Uh, as of right now, less traffic. We have very, very less traffic. Uh, initially, when the year started, we were looking. We were trying to get footing in Kigali because Kigali is fast growing into Singapore, mm -hmm. and we were really hoping that uh, we can get to do something in Rwanda. But mm -hmm. when COVID happened, uh, not everything has been good. Yeah, because now uh, so many organizations have been forced to close. Uh, Actually, it's just the grace of God that we're still open, but so many, so many of our clients are now working from home. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So what would be your advice to those uh, who are watching us and who want to get into a similar sort of, sort of a business? Oh, go for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do any, you, under the sun, you can achieve anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is, yeah, and you can't save, him, you can't save enough. I okay. mean, how much did we start with? I think it was like, I think, I think it was 30,000, Bob. Okay. Yeah, so you can't save enough. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can always achieve anything. On. You don't have to be degree holder. You don't have to be, you don't have to be the best. Mm -hmm. 
but you can achieve anything that you want to. Mm -hmm. If you're passionate, passionate about it and if you put your mind to it, you mm -hmm. can't achieve anything. Okay, yeah. absolutely amazing. I like that. I like the fact how confident you were. And it's true. Everyone, if you put your mind into it, you can actually achieve anything that you want. I would like to understand, or rather, give a clear view on uh, your vision, like when it comes to cyber tech. Let's say uh, five years down the road, where are we seeing ourselves? Five years. Mm. Obviously, being to Rwanda. Trust me. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I, I am looking at cyber tech, mm. I, with, it's a large office. Okay. Uh, we have a, a, a basement parking. Okay. I'm seeing a chief of HR uh, sitting on a cocobolo desk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like yeah, how you're visualizing I mean, the whole thing. Yeah, you know? it's something that I've been seeing it. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, I'm seeing my chief of HR with the cocobolo desk. I'm seeing someone else walking in with torn jeans and a, balance mm -hmm. and, 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 and a new balance. Uh, Dressed like Steve Jobs, free from the, free free to personal uh, personalize your culture. Like it's a free space. Yeah, it's a free space. Mm. Every t uh, every tech institution has always been a free space. Okay. Yeah. We have new projects coming up from the company. Yeah, we have a new project that is coming. Mm -hmm. But I for now we want to keep it uh, low key because mm -hmm. we don't want to put it out there still. But mm -hmm. something good. Yeah, something good is coming up, yeah? yeah All right, good. so that is Hicks Brian uh, speaking to us about Infotech. So maybe you can give us your social media handles. You guys have seen it or not on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, I don't understand no. why, but you, you know best. You know where your, your business is thriving at. So you can give us the social media handles and that people can reach out to you. Um, on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. Cybertech Labs, mm -hmm. Nairobi. Mm -hmm. um, on Twitter, still the same, Cybertech Labs, Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Um, any other our phone numbers are very much available uh, our email address oh for our email address we have a mm -hmm. chatbot that mm -hmm. does the magic so mm -hmm. I if I put my email address if I put our email address there if you mm -hmm. text us immediately it will immediately come back so okay. it is it is it is our email is real time we have a chatbot for that uh -huh. yeah no Thank you very much, Hicks Brian, for creating yeah, time to be with us. Uh, yeah. That was an amazing conversation. I know much about one or two things, one or two, three, three things when it comes to Infotech, uh, information about technology in business and how, uh, you know, if in future if I'm going to start up a business, you know, I know the person to talk to when it comes mm. to securing my network. Yeah, you <laughs> should, you should actually start a business. I will, uh, and you'll, be, you'll help me out on that sector, so no? Yeah, of course. Okay. They're okay. always available. All right, so yeah. we'll talk about the pricing and everything later. <laughs> 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 okay, guys, at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media platform. At Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me. So it's, all, it's our time frame. We all we, it's time up, yeah. Okay, so make sure you create time next Tuesday. So this is where we bid you goodbye. It's a uh, Remember, follow us across our social media platform. That is at Y254 channel at Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me. And also remember, next Tuesday, create time from uh, 7 till 10 a.m. That's how we do right here on Y in the Morning. <laughs>